Okay, so now we've run the inner duct all the way down the hallway to the auditorium, and we're right at, directly outside of the room where this uh, fiber optic cable is going to actually terminate to. And uh, we have to stop here. We have to pull from this point. Reason being, we just uh, ran into what they call a firewall. And a firewall is basically something that prevents fire from spreading. And there is a very strict uh, rules about how to deal with the firewall. Right behind us is the firewall that we're going to be penetrating. And uh, I'm going to give you a closer look up, up inside. And you're going to see a uh, piece of conduit sleeve. And that conduit is filled with red fireproof putty. The idea is if there was a fire in either side, that it would protect the other side of the wall for a certain amount of uh, hours. Here is the firewall penetration we were talking about. You can see there a piece of uh, metal conduit, and it has red fireproof sealant all inside of it. We're going to pick out some of that sealant, run our cable through, and when we're done, we'll have to seal that all back up again. All right, here we are at the other end of our cable run, and we, we have the inner duct that we ran. It ends right there. We're going to be popping that up to the top of the... Uh, balcony on the auditorium later on, but for right now we're going to run the cable to this point. And here's the two-strand fiber optic uh, pre-terminated cable, which we call our fiber whips. This is a custom-made cable. So here's a little close-up of our two-strand fiber whip right here. And we're quite proud of these assemblies. We, we make them custom-made in the factory. Uh, we put connectors on and we cover them with mesh. And as you can see, we have a a turnbuckle right here so in the event that there's any twisting when we're doing the pulling it won't affect the fiber whatsoever and uh, as you can see we have this hull head is not that much thicker than the cable itself and actually when you pull on it you know it tightens itself around and it, it, it's really thinner than it even looks but we're going to be able to pull this thing through and uh, by the way, the connectors on the inside are covered with plastic so that all the lubricant that we're going to put on there will not contaminate the connectors. So here's the lead end. This is coming off the top of the reel, okay? Now before we get set to pull this in, we have to do something with the opposite end of the cable. This is the end, the end of the cable run. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, attach that with a little bit of tape to the outside of the reel so it stays out of our way. And I'm going to start just putting pieces of tape on to hold it to the outside of the reel. I'm going to add more tape. We're going to keep on going every few inches until we get to the end. There we are now. We're all set to pull.